Thank you, Brian. DNC chairwoman, you've seen her a lot on this show, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Well, she was hitting the West Coast recently, hyping up Mayor Antonio Villagarosa as her choice to run the Democratic National Convention. He's the mayor of L.A. But it didn't go as well as she had hoped. Listen to this. The, the, the mayor is, uh, is a fantastic choice. I mean, he is a national leader. He's uh, a visionary and, uh, and, and is a national Hispanic leader as well. So, uh, co uh, Congresswoman, here, here, here's, here's the problem. We live here. Uh, we, we've lived with this for years and years and years. We've talked to him a thousand times. We lived with the experience. There might be a vision. The vision that Antonio Villaraigosa has is desperate vision of getting out of office before the bankruptcy of Los Angeles kicks in in 2013. I got to differ, and uh, you certainly can. Uh, you're entitled to your own opinion. So it looks like the chairwoman didn't do her homework on that particular topic. Doug McIntyre, host of McIntyre in the Morning on KABC in Los Angeles. He joins me live now this morning, very bright and early. <laughs> Good morning to you. <laughs> I don't know how bright crashes, yeah, but no early, definitely. Sorry, it's, 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 it's dark behind you no matter how you look at it, even with the bright lights there. Uh, all right, so, so she had reached out to you, actually, wanting to, to be on your show for this interview. Obviously, she was not prepared for the amount of information you had about your mayor of Los Angeles. Well, look, I live in Los Angeles. I was born in New York, and it's like me going into Kansas and telling the farmers how to do their job. Mm. We live here. We've been covering the mayor for years. I've interviewed him dozens of times. We've done events together. We know what his track record is. But this isn't about uh, the mayor's actual record for uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz and for the Democratic Party. It's about casting. The president didn't deliver on the DREAM Act. He didn't deliver on an amnesty for illegal immigrants. So he's got to energize the Hispanic voting base that he needs to turn out in November so the idea was is to get a prominent Hispanic popular uh, politician and they chose Antonio Villaraigosa it really just as a matter of casting not certainly based on achievement mm -hmm. you know I find it interesting because I guess an LA magazine in 2009 had the mayor on the cover with the headline failure which is pretty yeah well you know which is pretty bad news but the interesting thing is I haven't heard a lot of national coverage of the mayor as the choice to run the Democratic National Convention in a negative way. Well, of course not, because they're rehabilitating uh, Antonio Villaraigosa's image. All of a sudden, there's puff pieces appearing by Adam Nagori in the New York Times, and the uh, DNC is uh, trying to put him out there, as you heard from the DNC chairwoman, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He's a visionary, but uh, for those of us who have lived uh, with Antonio Villaraigosa in Los Angeles, we know the truth. The truth of the matter is that the city of Los Angeles is effectively bankrupt. Mm -hmm. The former mayor of Los Angeles, uh, Dick Reardon, wrote an op-ed piece in the Wall Street Journal saying not only only will the city go into bankruptcy it has to he's paid the highest ethics fines in the history uh, the 200 plus year history of the city of Los Angeles every other day is another scandal whether it's at the fire department or the uh, the, the school systems or the housing authority uh, his bundlers have done the perp walk he's had uh, multiple campaign uh, fundraiser bundlers arrested and uh, the progressive LA Weekly the progressive newspaper in town dubbed him the 11 percent mayor mm. because he's simply never here he pays no attention to his job since January 1st and now this is April 6th my sister's birthday so I don't forget April 6th <laughs> he has already been out of Los Angeles 11 times on a non city related business well maybe he's preparing for the convention I don't know uh, I mean that's coming up well in, it's a I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being position smug. Gretchen no I'm being smug no it's a, 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 Antonio Viragosa we call him the village people mayor because he'll be dressed as a firefighter out on the fire line for the cameras or he'll be in a cop a windbreaker at a crime scene or he'll be filling a pothole for the 6 and 11 o'clock news. He's only interested in the ceremonial aspects of the job, which is why, frankly, it's a perfect job for him to have the big oversized gavel for the convention. It's not like there's going to be parliamentary procedures at a, uh, an incumbent president's convention yep. who is unchallenged. But the thing is, you can't come into our house and try to put uh, you know, tinsel on the dead Christmas tree that is Antonio Villaraigosa's career. We know You're the speaking record. Of, We've you're speaking of Debbie it. Wasserman Schultz coming in there unprepared. But I have to tell you, I've heard the same lines from her after interviewing her countless times. Millionaires and billionaires can't go back to the failed policies. And I saw that she used the same lines uh, with you when you caught her off guard. Well, we're talking the about the failed policies of the present uh, and millionaires and billionaires. If it wasn't for millionaires and billionaires and backroom deals made with developers, a shovel wouldn't have been in the ground in the last five years in this city. The mayor right now is trying to steamroll a multi-billion dollar football stadium into downtown LA, totally dismissing a 10,000
thousand page environmental impact report and he's the green mayor because the money interests want it the only mm -hmm. two constituent groups that mayor Viragosa cares about are millionaire and billionaire developers and the public employee unions and that's it all right doug mcintyre radio talk show host who knows a lot about what's going on in los angeles he went up against the dnc chair debbie wasserman schultz thanks so much for your time have a great weekend uh, thanks for having us thanks scratching